Greetings. Welcome back to Pink Oddbird. Today I'm here with the final installment of the Music Vault. So let's go ahead and get started. So this month I decided to do something a little bit different for Music Vault. All of the books that I've done so far in the Music Vault have been really decorated, embellished, and so this this last one I decided to do something a little bit different. I wanted to leave this one plain so that the recipient could fill it up themselves because the person who I'm giving this to has a hard time using the journals that she's given, and so I figured if it all ties in so perfectly with Christmas and the song is inspired by Christmas and Christmas you think about all of the decorations and everything that goes into bringing Christmas to life. So I figured if I give her a plain book, she'll get tired of seeing it being plain and want to fill it up. <laughs> so really inside this book, all I have done is I've sewn in it and I've added some fabric and then I had leftover scrap um, cardstock, put them in as plain old tags. This one's song is by Lindsay Sterling, and one of my favorite Christmas songs is Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy, and I love that song, and I, I have so many different versions of it that I love, and I'll link this one down below as well as my other, my main favorite one, but Dolly had sent me a message with this song, and I was like already planning to do... Oh, I haven't even told you. It is a gothic Christmas book. This is what the book looks like. The green doily in the background comes from Lori at Ivy Shutters. And then I just layered it with lace. And then I have this really pretty little ornament. It's a wreath. And then I just tied some tool um, up at the top. And the fabric, I can't even explain to you how luxurious this fabric is. Obviously, it's a soft cover, just one signature. And then I've just got some tool that came from Miss Shayna holding it closed. In here, I have left the front and back pockets plain and empty. So again, I'm keeping with the motif of this is going to be decorated by the recipient. So this is a beautiful fabric here on the inside cover. There, I think you can see that. It's sparkly. And this is some beautiful like velvet the flower portion is velvet. And so again, these are like the plain cardstock tags. So she can decorate these and she can journal on these. And then I have a little tuck spot here and some green velvet up there. So the kit is actually, I'll link it below. It is actually a Gothic Christmas kit. And um, when I saw it, that's when I found that kit a while back, I was like, oh my gosh, I need that. So as you can see, everything is just really minimal in here, but it's got Christmas vibes to it. And yeah, I just, I really want to see her feel comfortable using a book and just going for it and filling it up and not worrying about how pretty it is or how you, you think you might not mess it up. And Lori actually has been talking about that a lot. You know, she's like, you have to use your books like <laughs> life's too short. And so she's right. So here I just have a piece of vellum and then you can see that gothic paper on the other side of that. And then there's just a belly band here. Some more of that kit and another tag here. And I've just tucked it into some more. I've used some of that cardstock to make pockets as well. Some more little gold fabric because the kit does have gold accents in it. And this beautiful sequins fabric and I love that it's so pretty and yeah so I really I really had a good time putting this one together I didn't even stamp in it other than just my stamp I'm, I'm really hoping that she will take the cue and actually use this book and fill it up and yeah do some fun things in here so there's another that's a cutoff from the front tuck spot that I used. Some more of the kit paper here. And here is the center of the signature.
I have loved the Music Vault series and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Also, maybe I will continue it on in the future. I haven't really decided yet, but I'm very happy to be able to have completed 12 consecutive projects that are all based on music. That is going to wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, toodaloo.